Gordon, I want to thank you and uh, Linda for the report that you've done and this work over the last uh, few months. It's crucial. Leadership is going to be critical. And what did you find in your review? Well, I mean, I found lots of examples of great leadership um, and great leadership under you know, considerable pressure and stress. And I think where we tried to take this review was to, to work with the health and social care sectors to try and instill that sense that everyone's a team member, but everyone's a leader too, regardless of what level they're at. And through that, you can build greater team building, which is always the route to better outcomes. Uh, and, and you can build a sort of collective responsibility to tackle things that you know aren't, aren't as, as they should be. Um, and I think our findings were that that didn't always exist um, and that some of the recommendations we make are targeted at trying to improve that. And you would have, of course, come across some hospital trusts where you thought the leadership was exceptional. You're really good. And clearly in some other hospital trusts, it's, it's not so good. And what do you think are the best ways to try and replicate that? The, the best way that people learn leadership is not in the classroom, it's through watching others that they respect and admire and how they do it. And so there's definitely um, something contagious about good leadership. I, I, I think that that can have a, a top-down approach, so if you've got a good leader at the top it's incredible how quickly one can set the tone for the entire organisation. But equally, you want good, strong leadership in the workplace so that people can learn from colleagues, learn from those that they work for and those that work for them. And I think that example and, and sort of contagious spread of good practices is, is very useful within an organisation. Also, I guess it's about when we recruit people, you are know, recruiting all the time, uh, that you know, try and recruit you know, the best possible leaders that you can. What would be your recommendations having done the review on how to recruit even better? So um, I think uh, re recruitment tends to come from people who look at a career and uh, you know, uh, uh, admire that career and, and get, you know, get the sense of value from that career. I think at the moment both the healthcare and the social care slightly miss the perfect opportunity of when one joins the organisation. Because at the moment, individuals are joining individual organisations like a hospital trust or like a, 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 a care um, facility. And, and that, at that point, I think it's really important to try and set some form of sort of collective culture, some sort of expectation of behaviours, how they should behave, how they should expect others to behave, and build more of a sort of a, 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 a community that belongs across health and social care. They feel they're part of one workforce. What were your sort of main focus areas? The four areas were firstly to, to take the point on collaboration. We've got now the structures and systems in place. I think what we have to now do is instill the skills of collaboration and compromise and working across boundaries to get better system outcomes. The second um, was more about um, the culture in the workplace and how does one uh, enhance that culture of respect, how does one um, build teams more effectively. The third, which is specifically about the health sector, but it's about how particularly the managers in the National Health Service are trained, uh, the standards that they achieve, how their careers are managed. And then the fourth is about sort of regional variation and trying to tackle some of the sort of disparities in the quality of, 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 of health care. And I think having a system that rewards those that make tough choices to get the best people to go to the hardest jobs is something that we've tried to, try to achieve. You've come back with a thorough review. Uh, I'm going to accept all the recommendations. We're going to get on with it. Thank you so much for your contribution to that.